To bust the myth, A-Clad, one of Australia's most experienced and largest cladding companies, undertook the challenge of providing the industry with real information. In doing four of AS5113 full wall scale systems tests at the more stringent CSIRO, NATA approved indoor facility. ACLAD's mission was to reassure all Australian building owners in whom have a total of 7.2 million square metres of the proven fire-safe Mitsubishi L Pollock FR on their buildings, including many large hospitals, how it performed in this extreme fire test. ACLAD's attitude to this stringent fire test was to replicate as constructed details and framing material to ensure the four tests truly represented as constructed projects. That is, number one, no cavity barriers were used. Number two, a large 125 millimeter cladding zone. Number three, vertical alloy framing, no horizontal steel framing. Thus the chimney effect could occur, presenting worst case scenario. Last of all, ACLAD insisted on, for the first time on any BS8414 test rig, to incorporate a full window system to truly replicate a fire outbreak of a window. I believe what we really need in the industry is just to remove all the uncertainty. Building owners are concerned what can we put, what can we replace our, the, the, the cladding that we know to have a 100% polyethylene core so it's known as a risk, it's known as a danger and they want to actively try and replace that but at the moment it's the uncertainty around what can they replace it with. It's very different across all the various states in Australia. So that's one thing that, which is causing confusion when you've got clients based in one state and they've owned buildings in other states. Um, there's, there's that as an issue. Um, and I, I just think if we could clear all that up and, and see, okay, these, there's two options. You can either put a solid product on or you could use a composite if it has this type of core or 0% polyethylene or maximum 7%, whatever that might be, that conclusion needs to be come to so that people can start doing the right thing and changing the cladding on these buildings. I think that at the moment a lot of people are looking at solid products as, as an alternative, whereas if there is a viable composite on the market, the composite panels do bring their own merits. They survive much better in hailstorms. They're a third of the work time, so it's quicker to actually install. It needs less bracing. They're lighter, so um, with regards to reclad projects in particular, the loading isn't going to be an issue. So with a solid material, you need a structural engineer to reassess the loading capacity of the structure. Can it actually take that load? Um, so if there is a, you know, a real contender of a composite out there in the market, then I think that will make a lot of building owners stop and think this could be the way forward. Our Mitsubishi Chemical, you know, uh, keyword is a Kaitech in Japanese. Kaitech is the uh, comfortable, sustainability and health. So this NC materials very much fit our concept in Mitsubishi Chemical. For me, I think the public need to just be diligent now as to but from buying a building or buying an apartment, what's been used on it? Just try and understand who manufactures it and where did it come from. Curiosity to understand that, okay, how does this perform in a real life fire test, which is what we did today. Um, for us, if you want the truth, you're better off seeing it with your own eyes. I think it's really great to see after Grenfell and the legislative changes that have occurred in Australia since then, um, that there's new products being brought out into the market. I think it's really exciting to see that. Um, because there weren't really many options available to building owners to what they could put on. I think the insurance industry will respond well to this as well. Um, and I think the test went really well for the NC today and I'm really excited for what the future holds.